Hi Sagittarius, <clears throat> welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. You repeat offenders, you know I love you. Thank you for coming again. And for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. You're absolutely welcome in the space. I hope you enjoy. Without further ado, as you'll notice, I already mixed the cards, picked a card, and we're gonna start off with this, okay? So as you notice, we're talking about the shamanic journey, purpose, achievement, and vision quest. And that's really super deep. So prior to pulling your card, I did a meditation. And I wasn't really getting much, just to be real. So I just decided, let's go ahead and let the card speak and see what comes up for thee. So first of all, I'm gonna say, I feel like you might have, for some of you, a lot of issues with smoke. Maybe you guys are smoking, maybe you guys are smokers, or perhaps you are into saging like I am. For some of you guys, you're concerned with your twin flame, with duality, with shamanic journey. I think we're just going to get into it. Purpose, attunement, and vision quest. We're going to read from the book. This radiant shamanic priestess rides the wind horse before the full moon, heralding a sacred time for you, one that can lead you into great personal healing and radical transformation. A literal a metaphorical journal awaits you, unearthing such profound wisdom, your life may never be the same. If you wonder what your true purpose is, now's the time to open up and receive. White feathers of this person's headdress are a symbol of spirit, a message about freedom from the mundane world. The pursuit of spiritual matters may be where your greatest purpose lies and the expression of your spiritual warrior's value and power may come into form of shamanic practices like healing, ceremony, and psychic vision. Let yourself first look into the side of you it could reveal a core purpose from which all other intentions and activities grow. The antler in the priest's left hand is a symbol of higher connection. Since a young deer regularly shed its antlers, the message here is to take some time to learn what all perceptions need to be shed for your own growth and higher purpose. Attune to the voice of your higher self and don't be afraid to let go. For the promise of new opportunities and expanded perception is clear. These are approaches that will illuminate your passage and your vision quest. You deserve to devote yourself to your own soul's evolution, meditate on your purpose, and envision the inner and outer journeys. It will bring you great attunement. Once you prioritize this pr process, your purpose will be fulfilled in magical and even miraculous ways. Your affirmation, dear Sag, I am attuned to the sh shaman within. I devote myself to my own soul's journey, and I am blessed. So making room and making time to connect with your own spirit and your own vision quest. I think that's really powerful. For some of you guys that have actually undergone like, um, or know a little bit about the shaman's journey and how you can journey to the underworld or the middle world, the upper world, those are all points of interest that you might want to take into account. I won't go into much of that here as this is a general reading, but if that calls to you, you might want to look into it. I personally am pretty fascinated by it. Um, drumming in that case can be really important to you and even just like a sacred release for you, help you of course, put you into that trance space. I said I wasn't gonna talk about it. Here we are talking about it. Okay, spirit. I'm gonna also say that based on what we even read about the white feathers, I feel like a lot of you guys could be finding a white feather. Some of you guys could be finding antlers or collect antlers that have been shed from um, deer or elk or whatever, right? So, 
Sagittarius, general read for the month of December. What's going on with Sag for the month of December, please? Let's find out. The World Cosmos. Okay. So the World Card, you're going to have some major changes. Some major changes, I think, that needed to end. Some major endings that needed to end. Things that really you wanted out of your life anyways are actually coming to a close, coming to a conclusion, coming to um, its final big, I guess, influence in your life in order for things to progress, in order for you to be able to have. Um, yeah, that makes sense to me, sorry. Um, in order for you to welcome new things into your life, certain things do have to end. So whether it's patterns, it's relationships, it's jobs, it's friendships, it's um, how you handle your money, how you handle or what you think about, um, I don't know, what's true for you, what really excites you, what ignites you, your purpose, your purpose in life. Uh, all of these things, I think that, you know, if we're living to match what the Joneses is doing constantly and has, it's a time for you to examine your higher purpose. Is that really your purpose and does it really fulfill? Because I feel like a lot of that is excess, like dead weight. It's not going to matter to you any longer. Okay. I hope I explained that properly. I feel like it was kind of all over the place, but I do feel like you're going to be really focused on your intuition. And also I feel like this is going to free you going back to our anchor card right here. This horse is to me all about freedom and a moon is all about following your intuition as well. And so when things end, I feel like you're going to really enter a great acceptance. Okay. A great intuitive purpose. Like you're going to be propelled, compelled, um, to follow something that maybe you don't fully understand, but it's going to help you to be a student of life once again. And I love that for you. Okay, Sag. So what else do we have for my Sagittarian friends? Let's find out. Five of material. Some of you guys could actually be feeling iced out or suffering a job loss. That is a possibility. With these endings, it could be jarring, three, four, five. So if you're Sag, it could also, just a lot of changes and a lot of fluctuations. I'm not gonna lie here. I mean, that's exactly what I see. I'm sure that most, a lot of you guys are readers or at least semi-interested in it. Number five to me is always about change, about fluctuating. You can't really count on anything for the month of December to remain as is because so many things are gonna be fluctuating, ebbing and flowing. And just keep in mind that all things have a cycle. Uh, before a new cycle picks up and not everything can end and start on the same time so it could be quite jarring when you get one area of your life down and then something else crops up and you're like oh my gosh this and oh my goodness this and you know so on and so forth but I just want to urge you for some of you guys music is going to be really important it's going to be important pick me up to help you to feel not isolated help you to feel not abandoned or not as confused it's going to just help you overall, okay? So music can really um, help transform and ease this process for you. What else do we have? General reading. Okay, we're taking that. We are taking that. We have the seven of voices here. Seven of swords. So it could be that you are facing your own shadow side. How you kind of like just took off and did whatever you want. Or it could be someone else took off and did whatever they want. And it's a really tough bridge to cross. For most of you, I do feel like this is your shadow self. And you crossing that bridge and entering into what is green, what is beautiful, what is authentic in you. And that you even realizing that sometimes we all make crappy decisions. We all make mistakes. We all can be shady. Um... And so if this is things that you're having a hard time coming to term with, maybe you're as sly as a fox or someone in your life is as sly as a fox. And that's really difficult for you to acknowledge. I just want to assure you that all of us have a reflection. And in the same way, dear Sasha, we all have a reflection. We all have that side to us that could be shady as heck, right? So don't be so afraid or I heard humiliated. Don't be so, I guess don't take it too much to heart because... We don't want you to live there. We want you to be able to kind of grow and glean whatever it is that you have to grow and glean from, but not stay stuck by a long shot, okay? Oh my goodness. 
there's a lot of smoke. And so you know what they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And I just wonder what the seven of voice is. This is my independent person. My I'm going to do it no matter what you say. I'm going to do it behind your back kind of person. And I wonder, I feel like some of you guys are saying, well, where there's smoke, there's fire. So it could be an instant where you feel like a partner is cheating or not being real, or maybe a business partner is just not being real and stealing money. I don't know what the case is, okay? But uh, somehow, some way, this scenario would fit your story. Moving on. Dear Sag, what else do we have for the month of December? Let's find out. The Empress. Okay, this is you finding your center, finding your voice, finding your solar plexus. There's a lot of reference to yellow, and I think that maybe you've been trying to kind of be subtle about who you are and what it is that you desire. But I think that this is your great coming out story, okay? So don't mean that by like, oh, I'm coming out because I'm gay or I'm coming out. No, I just mean anything. So you could be coming out because you're gay. You could be coming out because you have, a, I don't know, a poly family. You could be coming out because you've never shared your artwork with the world. And all of a sudden, they're going to be shocked at like, what? You paint? You never say anything. You could be coming out because like me, for a long time, I was a closet spiritual person. <laughs> I was a closet psychic, whatever the case may be, okay? Whatever your coming out story is, I do feel like you are entering the best phase of, of your life, okay? I mean, this is what's in the flow with you spiritually, mentally. It's going to open up a whole new world for you. This is what, I mean, the whole world is within her dress, okay? I mean, good grief, that could be read in so many different ways, but... Dear Sage, this is going to be really beautiful, a beautiful transformation. I think that you're going to be really slowly submerging and cloaking yourself into what it is that you consider beautiful, whether you're a closet singer, um, somebody plays clarinet, I heard somebody plays a flute. So whatever it is that your thing is that you do as a hobby, part-time that you enjoy, that you don't share with anyone. Maybe you like to beatbox. I don't know your life, right? So um, any of these things could be really affecting your December in a good way. So it's a time for a great reveal for you. So yeah, you'll be leaving some things in the past, but also welcoming a lot of new things and allowing us to be privy into your life and to be welcomed into something in your life that's really important, okay? So that's what I have for general. We are going to look at your finances. Sagittarius, if you like this kind of reading, please do smash that like button, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And if you like the way I read also, I have a playlist that is Pick a Card. That's my latest obsession. I love doing Pick a Card reads. I love listening to them as well. So you might want to check those out if you're interested. Finances for Sagittarius. Sagittarius finances. What do those look like, please? Let's find out. Ace of Pentacles. A lot of new beginnings. A lot of new offers. Things that you didn't even expect, okay? So I feel like here this could have a lot to do with what it is you're revealing. Your vibration is going to be changing. The more that you embrace who you are and allow other people to see regardless of how they feel okay regardless of what they think you don't care anymore i feel like this is going to be an opportunity for you to get job offers um and things that you never would have gotten otherwise this is growth this is blooming and this is steady and it is a slow growing progress but it is progress this is your freedom this is following your intuition and trusting in spirit okay this is part of your journey that's really really beautiful and i think that it's going to help you to see how in the clouds you were before or maybe how living in this toxic um, non-authenticity has really served to tie you up and how much more free and authentic you feel and more at peace that's the important part isn't it all right, so finances in abundance for my Sagittarian friends for December. Let's find out. King of Wands. This is going to light up fires. Could be a Leo. 
also in your life um this is abundance this is fiery this is passionate this is excitement this is thinking about what it is that makes you feel secure okay and again the reference to yellow so yellow could be really um kind of an important like magical color for you at this point in time in your life so wearing yellow again wearing with intention um and just stating to the cosmos to the world to the divine spirit god source whatever is that i'm wearing yellow for the sole purpose of finding my passion of following my passion with bravery and allowing that to forage my path ahead something like that okay but I feel like um, if this isn't you, also this could be a job offer from someone who is a mover, a shaker, and a candlestick maker. Somebody who's real fiery and excited about their own ideas, okay? What else do we have? You could be launching your own business, by the way. Some of you guys are launching into soap making. Some of you guys are making your own oils. Some of you guys are... I see kind of like crushing leaves to make oils. I don't know how that's possible. Like I don't know anything about making oils, um, but that's what I see. That's gonna be for one or two of you. What else do we need to know? Homeopathic medicine. That's for one person maybe. All right, finances for Sagittarius for the month of December. Let's find out. The moon. So it might be quite a mystery. Things are going on behind the scenes that you're not really too sure about. And we have the two towers here. So again, this is living a life of authenticity and really big secrets revealed. That's going to help you to look towards the future, to have optimism, to allow things to come towards you. So I feel like once those illusions lift, once the um, the thing that you've been doing for a long time, and it could be, again, reference to the world today, the world, <sighs> good grief. I don't even want to talk about it, honestly, but the, the world order, all of that stuff, whatever you think about it, I feel like a lot of your beliefs are going to start shifting and changing, okay? And that's going to affect your money in a good way. Because I feel like maybe you've been feeling a little bit repressed and fearful. There's nothing to fear. Connect with spirit. Connect with source. Your finances for the month of December, please. Five of swords. I think that you're going to start seeing true colors revealed. That could be a little bit scary initially. But it's going to put you in a place where you also see... Who is authentic who's genuine and who's coming towards you with good intentions where can i put my money is this offer good because what i've been doing in the past is not good they've been taking the money for themselves while i work 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 and become a slave and nothing gets accomplished okay things of that nature what else do we need to know about finances for sag ace of wands this keeps coming out for people that's awesome so a lot of fire, a lot of excitement, a lot of your creative pursuits maybe coming into fruition. You could be launching new creative endeavors, new businesses. And I feel like for a lot of you, it's not going to be just like one big thing that earns you a lot of money. Like, oh, look, I change into this and I earn all this money. It's going to be maybe a couple of different things, things that you never would have thought before. Okay. So now we're going to explore love for Sagittarius, and we are going to be reading for those of you that are partner, situationship, relationship. Sagittarius, for those of you that are in a connection, please, for the month of December, what's going on? Let's find out. Taking this one. The Nine of Cups. I have a dream. I have a wish. Ooh, the tower, this was like teetering on the verge. Okay, things are about to get revealed to you. Some of you guys, yeah, I, I did talk about that a little bit earlier. Maybe you have a partner partnership, okay, of something that you really wanted, you dreamt would be a great thing for you and it just didn't work. However, 
things are going right now, I feel like that is going to crumble. Things are going to get revealed to you so that you can actually build on a really solid ground. Okay. You're going to be getting bolts of enlightenment. Okay. That's the only way I can call them. It's even things like you could be waking up in the middle of the night gasping like, oh my goodness, I didn't even see that. And you get these epiphanies that are huge and life-changing and transformative. And all of a sudden with a bolt of lightning, it illuminates a dark sky and you all of a sudden see stuff that was right in front of you that you never saw before because it was nighttime, right? What else do we need to know for Sagittarius for the month of December? Let's find out. Judgment. So you're going to be making a judgment. And I feel like you're going to be making a judgment like, was that really my wish fulfillment? Is that really what I wanted for myself? If you really look at things, is this relationship what I really want? And so you're going to be questioning things. And it's like he's sitting on a red chair. To me, that indicates that, okay, this is where I sit. This is where I live. I'm secure with this. Is it really secure? Because if you're having such a tower moment, maybe there are things that you want to um, take a look at deeper in your relationship. That's for some of you, not everybody. If the storyline doesn't fit, don't make it fit, please. What else do we need to know for Sagittarius? Let's find out. The Ten of Cups. Yeah, you're wanting that emotional fulfillment. And you're going to re-examine everything. You're going to look and see, okay, do these shoes still fit? Is my role still fitting me? Is it befitting me? Is it where I want to head? Is this relationship still um, conducted in a way that I want to continue that um, trajectory? Do I want to continue in this trajectory or do I want to kind of tweak things so that their relationship fits me better? Okay, it doesn't have to mean an end to things unless you want it to. What else do we need to know? Oh, wow. Okay. So, taking a chance. And what is this? And death. Ending things. So, for some of you guys, I feel like you are going to go through a major ending in your partnership. This could be romantic. Um, I feel like that was my intent to do romance. Um, your love life doesn't necessarily have to be. You could be in love with work. You could be in love with your job. You could be in love with uh, making that coin that makes you feel balanced or whatever. Whatever the case may be, I feel like it's a major change for you, okay? Now let's look at Sagittarius, your love life. For those of you that are single, completely single, completely single Sagittarian friends. Let's find out. Look, who doesn't love you, Sag? You hung the sun. People say, well, they hung the moon and the stars. No, baby, you hung the sun. People look at you with admiration. You dissipate doubt. You dissipate cloudiness, moodiness, sadness. You bring the sunshine out. Who doesn't love you? So this little girl is holding her horse. I feel like once again, reference a horse is your freedom. It's just really focusing on freedom. Now if that horse is tethered. It's a little bit more under control than the one in the shamanic journey. Sag, what do we have? Why is the sun here, please? I feel like you have a lot of admirers. People just looking at you, staring at your pictures. If you have an Instagram, if you have... Facebook, if you have a TikTok, any of those things. People are just looking at you. Whatever online presence you have, they like to look through your pictures. And I'm not going to lie. Some people do wonder if you kind of touch them up, if you airbrush them, or if you're just incredibly beautiful. And I feel like you're just beautiful. Okay. So, to a sword, somebody that you were in a stalemate with, a connection, if you've been... Um, not talking to this person, they may want to talk, but they are certainly spying on you, wanting to fill their eyeballs with whatever it is that they can see on your social media, okay? So whoever you have lost a connection with, you had to make a decision with, or you're not talking to, they're definitely looking at you. Two of Pentacles, maybe this person wanted to juggle you and someone else, but they're still interested in what you're doing. Look at these little bags here, and this person's just focused on what is good for them. 
And then the Knight of Wands, they're going to want to come towards you. So you might be hearing back from an old love or an old person who wanted to be in a partnership with you, relationship with you, or dated you briefly, whatever the case may be. They're going to hit you up again. They're going to be in your DMs going, Sad, you're so hot. I miss you. What's going on? Let's hang out. Sad, you know that to me, you hung the sun. What else do we need to know? for Sagittarius for the month of December. Singles, let's find out. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. This person could have left you, you could have left them in the cold, not knowing maybe they ghosted you and they're back for an apology, but they want to get it in, okay? Let's not kid ourselves. This person wants to sex you up. All right, also we have the star. This could be healing. This could be you, though, focused on something that's better. A better match, a better connection. I feel like you're waiting more for things to be in line with the cosmos. Like, you're not willing to Rubik's Cube things like you were with this other person to make it work, okay? What else do we have for singles? Sagittarius. Let's find out. Moving on from that connection. You are following your dream. You know your worth now. I feel like you know you're beautiful. You know you're handsome. You know that people want you. And that's not an arrogant thing to say. That is a real and realistic thing to say. So you're going to adhere to things that are higher purpose, higher calling, and higher vibration for you. And Sag, with that... I mean, what better reading can you have than that, okay? Who loves you, we love you. Saj, namaste.